Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to create shortcuts to warehouse tables and lake house tables. In our previous session, we discussed what is shortcuts, how to create a shortcuts for lake house files from the same workspace and from the different workspace lake house, how we can able to create the shortcuts we discussed. So in today's session, we will see how to create a shortcuts to warehouse tables and lake house tables within a uh, same workspace outside of the workspace, how we can able to create, let's see. So it is very simple. This is what we are going to do. First, I'll create a one workspace one. And in workspace one, I'll create a warehouse one, lake house 001, meaning W1 means workspace one. Under workspace one, LH001 means a lake house first lake house within this particular workspace so within this particular uh, uh, lake house i'll be creating a table called tbl cast this particular uh, table i'll be creating from the parquet just to make that particular naming convention i have said a uh, tbl cast so here cast is a table and this table is creating from the parquet i'll show you how to create the table in the lake house as well so in the same workspace, I'll also going to create a W1 means workspace one, DWH means warehouse 001 because this is the first warehouse that I'm creating within this workspace. So that is a naming convention. Within this particular warehouse, I'll be creating a table called employees. Okay. Now, if you come to the workspace to in workspace to, I'll create a W2 means workspace to LH001 means lake house, so first lake house within the workspace to. This is a within the workspace to lake house 002. Now what I'm doing in the like workspace to lake house 001, I'm going to create a cast table with the CSV file. Now I want to access the data that is there in this particular lake house, in this particular lake house, which is in a different workspace, in this particular uh, warehouse, okay, uh, which is again available in the different workspace. I want to access these two tables and this table, everything from the workspace to lake house 002 so when i create a shortcut so you will get the shortcut names like this and you can also see the symbols the links will be shown i'll show you exactly these three are the links and this is the table that we are creating within the workspace to lake house 002 so let's understand this practically yes it will be little confusing that's why i have given the diagram as per the diagram step by step i'll be doing first let me uh, prepare the workspace one then we will prepare workspace two, and we will do the needful things. So once you come here, team, you can go to data factory. I'll go to workspaces. Within workspaces, I'll create a new workspace. The workspace name, I'll say it is a workspace one and apply this. Once you have created the workspace one, within the workspace one, I'll go and create a first lake house. Just click lake house. So upgrade this particular uh, workspace. Okay, I upgraded to the free trial. Now it is asking me to create a lake house. So this is a workspace one, lake house 001. So within this workspace, this is my first lake house. That's why I have given name as lake house 001. Once we have this, how we can able to create a table? So different ways we can create the table, but the simple way how I will create table is first I'll upload a file here so within this i'll create one input folder within this input folder i'll be uploading a file called okay just click on this upload upload file so what type of file i'll be uploading here is i'll be uploading a file called parquet file okay so you can just see your parquet so i'll be just uploading parquet upload once the parquet file is available with this particular file i'll be creating a table in the this lake house the table name as per the given diagram cast tbl cast with the parquet okay so this is the table that i am creating here you can see the diagram so which says within the workspace one lake house 001 should have a tbl cast underscore parquet so that's how i am creating this particular table so this particular table will be available uh, within a 10 to 20 seconds let's wait for the yeah so now if you see the status is saying successfully created tbl cast underscore parquet table so if you see here this is the table which is created this is a like a table which is created within this and this is the exact place where this particular table is available this is not any link okay this is the table which is available within the 
workspace one layout zero zero one okay so step one is completed we have completed this particular step so now we will go and uh, implement the warehouse one data warehouse zero zero one i'll create and i'll create employee table in it so go back click on the uh, like uh, workspace one click on this click on the warehouse this naming convention is warehouse dwh okay with uh, sorry w1 means not a warehouse it's a workspace one dwh data warehouse 001 this is the first warehouse that i'm creating under workspace one once we create the warehouse i want to create a table in this let's see how we can able to create the employee table let me show you so you can see the schema is available now you can just click on the new sql query new sql query here i want to uh, create a table so you just come here okay once you come here so this is the script for creating the employee table okay let's run this okay so we are trying to create a table table is successfully created we can able to see that particular table in some time but meantime i also wanted to insert the records into that particular employee table let me take all this data now we can just click down or remove this ddl script keep all the insert scripts and run this now what happens so it is basically going to insert all these records into the table if you go to schema under tables under dbo under tables you can see this particular employee table now if you click on the table you can able to see the data okay this is the data if you want to query go back to the your query section where you have created a SQL query sheet using this sheet you can able to say select the star from employees now if you run this you will be able to see the data that we have in this particular table it is going to come up just wait for it uh, wait for a second okay. yeah you can see all the data is showing okay now what we have done we just completed all the things that we need to do within the workspace one now let's go to the workspace two okay so i need to go and create the workspace to go to workspaces click new workspace i'll be creating a workspace two and apply this within a workspace two i need to create a one lake house just click on lake house this is a workspace two lake house 001 this is the first lake house within the workspace two so within this particular lake house i'll be creating a folder what is that folder this folder is input inside input again here i'll be uploading a file called cast to file okay as we discussed this should be a cast to file so what i can do is i can just go to say type one comma eight here you can just upload the cast file upload this once you upload the custodial csv file with this csv file i want to create a table in the same lake house okay you can see here you don't have any tables now i am creating a table again as i mentioned multiple ways you can able to create this table but i'll say tbl cast underscore csv so table cast which we are creating with the csv file now if you see the uh, diagram so now i created the within workspace to lake house 001 also created and this particular table also i have created now finally we need to go and create a workspace to lake house 002 uh, you can come here so maybe sometimes table will be shown before we get the status yes now you can see table cast underscore csv is available now finally you can go to the workspace to click on new again click on lake house we can say your uh, workspace to lake house 002 and create it so within this first let me show you how to get create a normal tables normal tables you know how to create right so just click on this click on the like kind of some folder you can create within that folder you can just uh, upload the let's say i'll be uploading a order file order dot csv i'll be uploading so with this particular order dot csv file i want to create a one table here also load to table this i can say simply orders table if you see within this okay yeah the table name maybe as per the diagram it should be table orders 
but i have given orders okay that is fine but i need to create a three links first link is for warehouse uh, sorry workspace one lake of zero zero one second uh, soft link okay symbolical link for the workspace one data warehouse zero zero one uh, for the employee table third uh, uh, sorry yeah, employees uh, basically for this link the second one table cost underscore parquet is basically for this particular one tip okay total you can see tbl cost underscore csv means this tbl cost underscore parquet means this employee means this okay so in this particular uh, way so for this this and this you can able to see three different links i'm going to create it you can come here you can see this is a like a table which is existed here okay but i am going to create a shortcut table so now you can see click on this click on new shortcut so where you have your tables first let's go to microsoft one lake within that workspace one lake house 001 for this particular lake house i have a one table i created this particular table i want to create a shortcut Okay, select that click create click create now this is created now you can able to see table cost underscore parquet shortcut is created so you can see this is the link link is this symbol it is showing right link symbol which is not the uh, this table is not existed here instead this is just a link which points to the actual location that is workspace one lake of 001 similarly now i want to create a shortcut for new shortcut for lake house within the lake house i have warehouse okay so within this workspace one warehouse so 001 click next i have a table called employee okay select the employee table click next click create so now you can just close once the status is shown as success you can close this okay once you have closed this now you can able to see employee shortcut also here now again click on this click on new shortcut now i want to create a shortcut for workspace to lake house 001 within a same workspace from another lake house i should be able to access the table click next within the tables you can see table uh, table cost underscore csv click next click create okay so this is also successfully created this is how you should be able to create the shortcuts for your employee which is from the warehouse TBL cost underscore CSV, which is from the same workspace in Lake House. This uh, table cost underscore parquet, which is from the workspace one Lake House. We have created a three shortcuts orders table, which is from this. Now, how we can able to query these shortcuts or uh, not the tables which are existed in this Lake House is so this is a workspace to Lake House 00 to go to workspace two where we have this uh, Lake House. So this is a workspace to Lake House 00 okay so if you see this is a sql analytics endpoint right you can just click on this workspace to lake house 002 once you click on this you can just click a new sql query now you can just say select the star from employees from there also you can see but there you can able to just preview the data if you click on that table it will be shown but here you can able to query any of this and you can also put some kind of condition where employee underscore number in thousand one comma thousand two okay now if i want such type of filters and all if you want you can able to apply all these queries you can able to write here so this is the orders you can just see it you will feel like you are uh, ac actually accessing the data from their same lake house you won't feel like you are accessing from somewhere so it will basically the main advantage is one is we can avoid copying same data in a multiple lake houses meaning maintaining the redundancy data we can avoid the second advantage is it like instead of querying the table uh, this data using external tables and all if you use the symbolic links like the soft link shortcuts so it will be very very uh, good at uh, performance okay it will give you a uh, best performance to query that particular data okay maybe you can just see tbl cost underscore parquet whatever table you want to query you can able to query and you can see so i think a table uh, cost underscore parquet which has the thousand rows and 13 columns okay 13 columns we have and a thousand records thousand records means thousand rows you have here you can see 
so that's how you can able to query but normally what happens if you go to workspace to lake of 002 where you have created shortcuts if you click on this table it will show you all the data okay but you can't able to query it you don't have any option okay so that's why you need to go to sql analytics to query this particular shortcuts we can also access the shortcuts in the databricks notebooks from the pipeline everywhere you can able to access this particular shortcuts very very important concept stream i hope everybody understood i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and encourage me if you have any questions please put your questions in the comment box i'll answer thank you all that's it for today